Hey guys, so it's day 29 of Veg, which means it's whatever I want Wednesday. And since I'm home, I thought I would show you guys what's in my other little box of things that I keep at my parents' house. Because I enjoyed going through the last one. It was very nostalgic. So here's this little box. My mom bought me this. So I guess I just had so much stuff that she was like, please start putting it in a box. So I didn't even know. She just got it for me. Um, but it's really cute, it's peace, and it says love on it. As I explained in the last video, this is just kind of the box where I keep things that a lot of other people might consider trash, but I consider them to kind of have sentimental value, so I don't throw them away. I keep them in this box for this specific purpose so I can go back through them and be like, oh, remember that thing? So, let's go through it. My playbill from when we see the Book of Mormon, which was amazing, and that was really recently, so that's at the very top. Ticket stub from Star Wars. A program from my family wanted to see White Christmas at a little theater somewhere in Arkansas. It was pretty cool. It was it was cool. It was a very little, you know, it was like a local performance, but uh, it was at a little theater and it was very, it was nice, like, because we got like really close up seats and that was really cool. Playbill from Newsies, which was also amazing. Now you guys are starting to see I'm a big musical person. <laughs> Here's my ticket from when Bill Clinton came on my school's campus. That was really cool. Just to see anyone who's been president is like kind of a big deal. I have a chocolate frog card. It's Hagrid. I don't know if this will work very well on camera, but it's Hagrid. Yeah, it works. It's Hagrid and he's got a little dragon and it's got some info about Hagrid on the back. That's cool. You know, it's just one of those things that's like kind of silly, but it's too cool to throw away. Here's a lot of ticket stubs I have. Divergent, The Hobbit 2, Home, which was adorable. I love that movie so much. Frozen, I got my ticket stub from Frozen. I guess that makes sense because Frozen is the best movie of all time. And Les Mis from when I think we went to see Les Mis and Little Rock. Oh, this is another silly thing my big bro gave me, the <laughs> Jesus uh, Band-Aids. Really, I don't know why he gave these to me, but you know, whatever. This is from when um, we had to ask a TBS sister on a date for Valentine's Day. Uh, I got paired with a sister named Katie, and we just like went to the student center and ate lunch for a while and like got to know each other more. It was cool. So I set it up like, Katie, will you go on a date with me? Check yes or no. It, it was cute. I put it in a share coke bottle that said share coke with Becca or Katie. I wanted to find one that said share coke with a brother because we're brothers and sisters, but it didn't work out. I was just too proud of this idea to throw it away, apparently. <laughs> Took a stuff from the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, uh, Into the Woods. That was okay. How to train your D. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon. That awkward moment. I don't even know what this is. I do not remember seeing this. Seems like something that I would watch with Amber. And the live action Cinderella, which we mostly watched to see the Frozen short before it. But the actual movie itself has been too. Oh hey, more Share Coke. I don't think this is from the same thing. It's Amber's really into Share Cokes. She always collects like the names that are important to her and stuff like that. So uh, she gave me one. Though said Rebecca, I didn't feel like keeping the whole bottle, so I just kept the label. A valentine from my little bro is How to Train Your Dragon, so that's cool. Another Hunger Games movie ticket stub. Whoa. This is from the national park that we went to when I was in Costa Rica, and it was like the prettiest park ever. They don't really have any of the pictures of like the beaches there, but they're so amazing. Like the water's super clear and blue, like I feel so passionately about Playa Manuel Antonio. Hunger Games Catching Fire. How many times did I see the Hunger Games? <laughs> this is from a freaking, oh my goodness. A girl in color guard when I was in high school gave out these little tote bags uh, for senior night. It was her last year, so she gave all the like underclassmen different tote bags. And this was in one of them. I just thought it was too cute and I played clarinet, so it was like a little clarinet and obviously I had to keep it. Anyway, oh, this is cool. Just little tickets from when we went on a train in Colorado. It was like a scenic train. It's not like a, 
an actual transportation train, really. I mean, it kind of was. It got us to, like, a very small tourist town. That was really pretty. But it also took you through the woods, and yeah, it was really cool. So there's those. Oh, a thank you letter from Connor Franta for when I, like, donated to his uh, water... What was it called? If I see any more ticket stubs, I'm gonna punch people in the face. Pitch Perfect 2. Paper Towns. Fault in Our Stars. We get it. You like John Green. The Art of the Brick. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's from when I went to New York and we saw the Lego Museum. Yep, definitely. This is also from New York uh, when we went to see the NBC studio, which was mostly for my parents. <laughs> Seriously, I have a bookmark in here. I have so many bookmarks. This is another bad thing about not losing things. You just have like two million bookmarks and bobby pins and other things that normal people lose. It's a bookmark about Jasmine T. I don't know where I got that. Newsies ticket. From to see the Empire State Building. That was really cool. Oh yeah, this is from the 9-11 Memorial. A lot of stuff from my New York trip. From when we went on a steamboat in New Orleans, which is cool. I'm probably about to do that again soon. Oh, this is from Madame Tussauds in New York. That was cool. It's a wax figure museum. Eerily accurate stuff in there. This is so faded, but it's from when I went to see the last Harry Potter movie. That's such a big deal to me. This is from when I went to a Travelers game. That's like the Arkansas baseball team. Toy Story 3. That was sad. Oh, this is from when I went to see Ponyo with Eleanor. I totally forgot about Ponyo. I'm about to go see Wicked for the second time. But this is from when we went to see Wicked for the first time, and it was amazing. This is from when I went to see the Astros in 2007. Here's a fortune cookie fortune that I liked a lot. Do not underestimate yourself. My AP scorecard? I do not care about that anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is from when I went to see the High School Musical musical live action. It was so cheesy. This is from when I went to see Seussical the Musical, the best musical of all time. That changed my life. Aww. I didn't realize I kept this. This is a Lifesavers wrapper. Um, my great papa really, really liked Lifesavers before he passed away. I think it was his funeral, and my grandpa, uh, and we all got Lifesavers, uh, you know, as a reminder. And I kept the wrapper because, you know, it has sentimental value. Here's a little gem that I have, I don't know why. I think I've had that since I was like six. I probably found it on the ground and thought it was cool. Here's something that I found on the ground that I thought was cool. A little cross, it says God loves you, and it has some symbol that I don't recognize. I've never been able to figure out what that symbol means, so if someone could tell me, that'd be really rad. <laughs> this is where I want to see the bling ring because I had Emma Watson in it. It was still a pretty good movie, though, actually. This is from when Jason Mraz came to Harding. <sighs> that was cool. <gasps> this is from Monsters University. See, that's so cool. There's so many movies that I forgot that I've even seen. This is from when I went to see DCI, but then it got rained out. That was really disappointing. This is from when I went to see the Joseph play and Branson. It was really cool. Um... You know, it just told the story of, like, Joseph and the coat of many colors, but it was in this theater that was, like, specifically designed to accommodate for, like, wild animals. So, like, they had live animals come on the stage, and, like, you could go behind the scenes. We actually got to go behind the scenes and see, like, where they kept all the animals and how they kept them happy and stuff, and it was super rad. Here's a bookmark that I've had forever. I only put it in here because it started, you know, turning pink, like kind of cheap metals do. I mean, you know, it's a little bookmark. What do you expect? I knew this would be in here. This is a bottle cap from when... It's kind of, it seems kind of silly now, but in high school, a friend and I uh, didn't get along for a while. We kind of like argued off and on for like a year, and there was a time that we went to a coffee shop to try to, you know, make up with each other, and we did, you know, now we're like, we're still pretty good friends, you know, we're as good of friends as two people that have drifted apart after graduation can be. But yeah, I, I got an orange soda and I kept the cap because it's a reminder that you, you can be friends with people. 
This is from when I went to see the Titanic Museum in uh, Branson. That was really cool. The only thing I really remember is that they had like a giant bucket of ice water to show you how cold the water was. And you had to see how long you'd keep your hand in there. <sighs> it was very cold. And I have a tiny button. I guess it's supposed to be a spare button. At this point, it's so lost in the bottom of that box that it definitely will never be useful. <laughs> Sorry, button! But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a couple things that are like definitely trash in the bottom of the box, but otherwise it's, it, I would consider it empty. So yeah, I would definitely consider this a more uh, nostalgic version of my box of things because it has things literally from 2007, whereas the other one's just things from like college. Well, this one's a little bit more informative about my past and my childhood and stuff. But yeah, that was cool. There was a lot of stuff in there that I had forgotten about. If you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm putting out videos every day this month. Follow me on social media. All my links are in the description. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Veg out.